this might be a little bit too much power. You're probably right. Because red, <laughs> red cat crawlers, or any crawlers, shouldn't be meant to accelerate like that, boys. Or break like that. This is my uh, brushless Red Cat Gen 7 Pro. Uh, I'm thinking of selling this fairly soon as I'm very interested in getting the Gen 8. So yours truly will be putting this up on eBay soon. So I thought I'd have a bit of fun with it uh, and then put it back to stock before I sell it. So as I've upgraded the Russell 4x4 VXL to a castle system, I had a spare Valenian system going, which yours truly has fitted to the inside of the Gen 7 Pro. So do we think that's going to be quite quick or what? Still got to stop gearing on, but I have a feeling this might be quite fun to drive. Now, before I take it outside to have some fun, don't forget if you like this stuff, then do subscribe. Yeah, I went for 3000 million, uh, 3S pack in here today, 50C rating, absolute bargain to my mind, I'll link to them uh, below this video. Anyway, all powered up, so uh, let's get it out. The GPS on this this week when it's uh, nicely cleaned up to uh, see just how quick it goes, because believe me, this thing has got a surfeit of power. Reminds me of the uh, time when I fit this same system into. Uh, whoa. Oh, 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 oh. There goes the gas can again. Don't worry, that falls off all the time. Doesn't it? If you pick them up by their ears. As you might gather, this is a bit of handful on this surface, and I really need somewhere much longer to run it. Not even close to giving it full throttle yet. <laughs> oh. Turn I got that on film, turn I got that on film, I actually got like 25, maybe 30 miles an hour in it. <laughs> but it's trying to keep it in a straight line. Is uh, a bit bonkers. Full throttle on the grass there, Rich. <laughs> oh, it's just got too much power. I'm going to damage the body if I uh, give it too much gas there, boys. Woods to actually uh, kick the back end now. It's got that much power. So, but that's a uh, body, tall body weight. Ooh. Oh, not the kind of thing I would recommend, I have to say to people, even in this area, it's uh, tricky on the braking as well. I'm probably going to call it quiz before it's something so I get a bigger area to play in where I can uh, give it some full throttle outside. It's not got the, uh, mind you, that, that joint turning circle probably helps him not turn over at speed. <laughs> oh, he says, ah. Oh. Well, the one thing I would say to anybody thinking about a brushless uh, conversion on a crawler is, for goodness sake, fit a centered system uh, like the Castle one, because with this uh, Valenian setup, you lose all of the sensitivity uh, that the uh, stock car has, making it uh, not such a great crawler. But in fitting such a setup, you will find it be able to jump over stuff and go at a stupid pace that it couldn't normally do. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed me having a bit of fun there with my uh, brushless Red Cat Gen 7 Pro. Uh, it's not going to remain in this format for too long. I'm going to put it back to stock as soon as I've done the uh, GPS test on it, which hopefully I shall do tomorrow. Anyway, if you don't want to miss that GPS test, then don't forget to subscribe if you've not done so already. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the circle image to subscribe. And if you hit subscribe, then don't forget to hit that little notifications bell next to